Good morning again, counsel. Good morning again, Ms. Reed. Good morning, jurors. My name is Beverly Canoni. I'm a judge of this court, and I want to welcome you here this morning. Jury service, as you know, is one of the most important duties that we have as citizens. Our system of justice simply would not work without you, and we appreciate that you're here today ready, willing, and able to serve if called upon to do so. So you we're, are unmuted. We're selecting a jury today in a criminal case that you just heard, Commonwealth versus Karen Reed. The Commonwealth alleges that on the morning of January 29th, 2022, at approximately 6.04 a.m., the Canton Police Department received a 911 call reporting an unresponsive male party in the snow outside a residence at 34 Fairview Road within their town. Officers responded and discovered the male party, later identified as John O'Keefe, off the roadway in the front lawn area. Officers identified three women with Mr. O'Keefe, one of whom was the defendant, Karen Reed, the girlfriend of Mr. O'Keefe. The defendant had been with Mr. O'Keefe the previous evening at two different bars in Canton and had driven with him to his residence in the early morning hours of this date. Mr. O'Keefe was treated by paramedics from the Canton Fire Department and transported to the Good Samaritan Medical Center, where he was later pronounced deceased. The Commonwealth alleges that the defendant struck Mr. O'Keefe with her vehicle earlier that morning and then left the scene while Mr. O'Keefe lay injured in the snow during a blizzard. The defendant denies that she has committed these or any crimes alleged in this case, and she has pled not guilty. So the defendant is charged, as you've heard, with second degree murder and also charged with manslaughter while operating under the influence and leaving the scene after causing personal injury or death. I will describe these crimes in detail at the end of the case when I teach the jury the law, but briefly, Murder is the unlawful killing of a human being. In order to prove the defendant guilty of second degree murder, the Commonwealth must prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant committed an unlawful killing and that it was done with malice. In comparison, involuntary slaughter is an unintentional, unlawful killing caused by wanton or reckless conduct. These terms and the elements of the crimes will be explained to you in detail at the end of the case before you begin your deliberations. Now, at the outset, I would like to address the issue of public interest in this case and the duty of this court to adhere to the rule of law. John Adams said that we are a government of laws, not of men, and that the law must be deaf to the clamoring of the public. He meant that while public opinion about a given subject may ebb and flow, the law must be steady, reliable, and even-handed. We know that in the subject of this case, there are people advocating for one outcome or another with intensity, but without the benefit of having heard or seen any evidence at all. The law works in a different way, and the difference is crucial to our system of justice. The jurors selected for this trial will hear and judge the evidence. They will decide what the facts are, and where the evidence is contested, they will determine where the truth lies. Ultimately, the jury will decide whether the Commonwealth has carried its burden of proving that the defendant is guilty of any crime beyond a reasonable doubt and to a moral certainty. People outside of this building have rights, and we know that they have voices. But this criminal trial will be decided by an independent jury, free from outside interference, based only upon the evidence presented in this courtroom and the law. This is the only way to ensure that every person who comes before the court receives a fair trial. It is just that simple and that important. So, while public comment will likely continue, the rule of law will be upheld. <laughs> 